Hey guys, Aaron coming back at you with another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video about um, everything I've found so far uh, metal detecting. Um, it's not much, but as I've only started metal detecting uh, last year. Um, but what I have found, I will show you. So hold on a second. I'll show you the best thing first. That is this, which looks to be an old coin, but I can't say for sure. I uh, actually showed jo Joster this already, and he couldn't he couldn't um, tell me anything. I can't about it. So see, I don't know. I actually found this on the grounds of. Eloise Insane Asylum. Um, Eloise is an insane asylum sanatorium, as they say. Um, it was, it's one of Michigan's oldest. Um, they started it in the 1850s, I believe. And I haven't, see now if you look at it from there, it looks like a little picture of a face. Like that part looks like the guy's nose and then the eyes and then almost like it's a Native American. But the Native Americans did not have coins. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know what this is. I'm still holding on to it, hoping that someone will be able to tell me what it is. But... As of right now, um, I don't know. Well, there's another close up, and I'll show you what looks to be a face. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can see it, so I'm assuming you guys can in the top upper left hand corner of the coin um but that's that's one of the things i found and this is that penny that was corroded and yeah you can't make it out but if you can see that's lincoln's face and obviously the Lincoln Memorial on the back it's corroded but I also tried to use CLR on there and which I did not notice well someone told me that I should but I didn't notice on the back there do not use on copper so I'm thinking the CLR like eight dissolved part of this coin or the copper on this coin so but it's a newer one it, it's not like it's a wheat penny or older so I'm good there but yeah I guess it'll clean it can't it won't clean you can't use it on aluminum either or copper or brass but steel and iron you can so i'm gonna try on some other parts so this is something i found today i don't have no idea what it is it looks like the trim of something it almost looks like it could be no i don't think no oh that's yeah that's dirt so 
it's dirt inside. This is, should be hollow. Um, I don't know what it is. If it's like the trim on a window or, or what. And then, of course, you guys have already seen this. How it says LBS or two, or is it say two? That kind of looks like a two. And that's a looks like a three. And that looks like an S. But there's still some corrosion on there. I can't quite tell what it says, but it looks like two three S. And then this other piece. And Another in that other hole that I was digging, um, there was a pipe sticking out of the ground like that, and it went a foot and a half in the ground, and there was still more. So I covered it back up, and when I got to about the f about the foot mark, there started like water started coming into the hole. So. I'm thinking the pipe is corroded and water is leaking out of it as we speak. So, at least that's what I'm thinking. And I'll show you some other stuff. That piece of metal. I know it looks like a razor blade, kind of, if you look at it that way. But it looks like part. Of, it looks like shelving or something like that. I don't know, like, like a sh like a shelf, piece of a shelf. And then I found this piece of metal, which actually looks like more trim. And then you guys have seen this, and this my dad said is a spark plug, a World War II era spark plug. That's what he thinks it is. It's very corroded. Old bottle caps. Let me see. This rock, which I think is iron ore because the uh, the pinpointer which is a little thing that you go like this in the hole and it goes off to, to tell you that you're close. Um, it goes off when I point it at this, so it's got to have some metal in it. And I think Michigan is rich in iron ore, so I'm thinking that's what it is. And then there's this piece. It looks like a shelf. I found this in a different area. And then here's this piece. And my dad put some bricks in here, which I don't know why. I guess because they were in the same hole. They were in the same hole as some of the metal. Like this was in a hole with uh, that spark plug and that metal plate that I showed you guys the other day. And this is that bolt one of those bolts and here is another piece of metal which I have no idea what it is it's so corroded and then a uh, lots of these a ton tons of these Sure that one's all twisted. Oh, this is interesting. I showed somebody this, and this looks like a, a bullet. Now, there's the end cap, and then on the bullet itself it had writing on it and I forget what it says I can't see it right now 
but it had a company name on this bullet and the bullet was um, bought out by um, who is it one of those famous gun companies they this company was started out in like 1880 something and they went out of business in 1936 and if it just has this name on it then it's pre 1936 so this bullet was actually in a state park by me and it's like I said it's from at least 1936 it's like the shell casing or whatever to a bullet. I'm not a bullet expert but I showed my nephew and my nephews had guns his whole life and he said it's to a um what do you say to a 45 or something like that I don't know I think that's what he said so that was neat and then found this old key which I looked at the maker and I can't actually see it right now if the light was better yeah I can't see it but they made this I saw the lock and key online on Amazon I think and it was from the 1950s so a key from the 1950s was there and then you guys saw this some of you this is I don't know that was with that was with that and uh, let's see it's another random sh shard of metal a hook I think it's a fishing hook but I'm not positive, but that's what I think it is. Because there's uh, some lakes and streams right around me in the park. So thinking that's what that's from. More, more little tabs. That's another little rock that my dad liked the look of and he kept. And it was in one of the holes. An old nail. Um, some sort of screw with plastic on the end of it or t I don't know what it went to another like little nail N like a piece of one it's not even a whole one it's so corroded and this was another rock that went off under the metal detector so I'm assuming it's iron Another one of them tabs. Here's another, I don't know, this snail's like a tack type thing. Pretty old and rusted. And here's that bolt. And there's another tab. Hold on one second. How I don't understand how this got caught. Okay, because the nail was caught in there. This is another nail. This just looks like a little newer than the ones I showed you. And then this, it's weird. It's like broke off right there, and it's really heavy, like it's a lead weight. I'm thinking it's lead. You guys can hear it hit the table. It's it's really heavy. I mean for its size. So, it was attached to something at one time. And then, I have no idea what this is. I think it's just, a, just some kind of rock or something. Well, oh no, it's a piece of pottery. It doesn't have, it, it's not metal though. Another one of these rocks. I know it looks like one of those rocks you'd 
um, would have did some landscaping with, but there was no landscaping. It was like in the middle of a park. There was nothing, just woods. So I don't know what it was doing there, but, and it was buried on top of that. So all these tabs, I said, I found so many of these tabs. It's not even funny. And this is like a random shard of metal. Have no idea what it is. This is another nail. Now this is an this looks like to be a really old one. I don't this is like a 1800 1800s late 1800s early 1900s maybe. The area I live in um used to have um Indians on the like in this area. Native American, should I say? It's old Pepsi cap. Um, so, and there's an old mill that's over here from the 1840s that's like right down the street from me. And then this is a piece of like pottery, if you can see like how the you can tell that's man-made. But that's all that was there. There was nothing nothing else near that. And this bolt, that went with uh, this, I believe. And this, and this, and this. And this is another old bottle cap. Can't see anything on it. It's rusting away, breaking apart, disintegrating before our eyes. All these little beer tabs. What's difficult about these guys is it comes up like aluminum and then coin too. So you don't necessarily know if it would be this or a coin. And so it's hard to decide, you know, because some days you're just in a mood like I'm just going to dig up whatever signal I get. But other days you just want to go for coins or aluminum, you know. Whatever, and then whatever else is in coins, like copper or whatever. And this is like a piece of, this is so corroded, that's all that's left of whatever this is. I don't know, it looks like a piece of a nail or something. But it's hard to tell. It could be anything. And then I found this little Allen wrench. All these, look at all these collection of tabs. Another this another little piece. Man, my dad kept a lot of rocks. I don't know why. And then there's this. I can can't tell what this is either, but it's curved at one end. I don't know. I have no idea. But, yeah, I mean, this whole time I've pretty much found mostly junk. But, I mean, it's not in the fun. And this is like a piece of pottery I found in one of the holes that I found the metal with. It actually feels like a um, linoleum. So, like the floor of some building. I'm guessing. But again, not sure. I have no idea. This is, looks like the bottom of uh, one of those bottle caps where the plastic part is. 
And here's another old Budweiser. Well, not that old, but still. Like that Pepsi one, I can tell they haven't made those in a long time. Since, uh, I'd say, at least the 90s. At least I haven't seen them. And then... My dad saved this piece of glass, which I don't know why. And then we we found this other piece of glass. It's all like smooth, smoothed out like it's uh smoothed out from the sand or the wind or the or whatever. I don't know. And then found this little screw type thing. And then this is another old nail. Lots of nails I found. Those, those will come up at a very low tone. It's like a ping, it's a ping, ping noise. And it's, the tone's really low. That's how you know you are got iron. And if it's, aluminum like this like these are normally come up at uh the medium tone and then a coin n normally comes up at the higher tone and then i don't know what this is have no idea it kind of looks like a band-aid but but it's metal uh, or or it looks like a clip of some kind or i don't know but it's broke off at the top. So. And this looks like another bullet. But I haven't seen. But these are really. This is really small. This is like. And this. I found this in a different spot. In, in the park. Another one of those. See if I got. Oh. And then I found this penny, which isn't that old, obviously. It is from 2005, or no. 2015, so that's only four years old. That was under like three inches of dirt. And then found this other penny, not that old, just from the 70s. I think it's 79 it said on there. I don't know if you guys can see, but I believe it's 1979. And then like another little bullet. Although I don't know if this is a bullet because this doesn't have one of those firing pins in it. I don't know if you gun experts could tell me if this is like a little, a, if it's a shell or what it is. And then just another little nail. Another little screw. This one's still got some paint on it. Must not be that old. And then this little link, a chain. So, but that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much all I found so far. And, well, I and a couple, some more coins that I've spent or put away. But the coolest thing I found, obviously, is... uh. For that one coin. The first coin I showed you guys. But. That's all for now guys. I notice a lot of you like my. Uh, my metal detecting video. So I just thought I'd show you. The bulk of what I've gotten so far. Just a lot of junk. I mean a couple interesting things. You know that stuff's interesting. The pipe's interesting. Obviously, the, if 
finding any kind of money is cool. The old nails are cool. And then, you know, the bullets. And that old key from the 50s, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. So, hope you liked the video. Um, please like, please subscribe, uh, please comment. I like your comments. I like answering and responding. And uh, bye-bye for now.